Welcome, I'm Elizabeth from the blog oldmaplehome.com and in this video today, we are going to be exploring making some big changes in my foyer, doing some redecorating, a little bit of thrifting, and just project planning. It's a good one, so let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are in our foyer of our 1800s historic Queen Anne Victorian home and I'm just ready for a change in here. I feel like this room is just kind of bland. The walls are just flat white and uh, I don't know. I just want to liven things up in here. It needs some personality. It needs a little bit more of a purpose. This room doesn't really do anything as far as just it's not really functional in a way it's such a nice big space but I just need to give it a new look a new life and because I was craving change in this room I wanted to just start fresh with a blank slate I guess you could say so we are removing the beloved swan table the Facebook marketplace score of a lifetime and that way I can just kind of reimagine this space with maybe some more functional furniture that has some storage or some seating, something along those lines. So my husband and I are very carefully trying to carry this large console table up our tiny little hall stairway here. It's always um, fun to try and figure out. How to maneuver things up and around here since there is no opening like a traditional staircase would have and while the room is somewhat cleared out now is my opportunity to get it nice and clean before I start making any other big changes so a big thanks to Vaclay for sponsoring this video Upon opening our Vac Life cordless stick vacuum, we noticed all of the additional attachments to help make it really easy to clean the whole house, including your upholsteries um, around the corners of the rooms, all the places that I like to really get and do a deep cleaning with. The vacuum also has an extendable wand so you can reach into those hard to get to places and then also just to make it comfortable for all of the family members in the home. There are also three suction modes, a low speed that will allow you to run the vacuum for 40 to 45 minutes, which I can do the whole house definitely in that amount of time. There's a middle speed mode for 20 to 25 minutes and a high speed mode. So if you really need that extra kick of suction, you've got the three options there available depending on how long you need the vacuum to run for you. And because the Vac Life Stick Vacuum has an innovative two-in-one brush, you don't have to worry as much about hair getting tangled. I also love that the Vac Life Cordless Stick Vacuum makes it so that I don't have to worry about my beautiful old wood floors being scratched or compromised in any way. I love to vacuum. I vacuum all the time, multiple times a day, and this vacuum is safe for wood floors. We also love how easy it is to release the dust, and this is definitely something that I care a lot about when it comes to stick vacuums like this. It's just a one-click release, and it's as simple as that. And I Another thing we love about this vacuum is that it is self-standing, which is perfect because we lack closets and just places to hang things like vacuums in our um, 1800s home. With all that being said, if you're looking for a vacuum that is easy to use, lightweight, with a sleek design, a wide application of use for your home, not to mention easy to buy, you can get it right off of Amazon and of course their official brand store for online shopping. The price point is as painless as can be, great value. And I just highly recommend it. We have been using it for quite a few weeks now, and I really do think this vacuum does a great job. I highly recommend this vacuum. Visit my description box below this video. Just click more under the title to go grab your links, check out the vacuum, and hopefully bring one home for yourself. 
Thanks so much for sticking around through that promotional portion of the video. But now we are back to the fun stuff, which is decorating this foyer. And as you can see, I snuck that bench in while you weren't looking. I probably just forgot to push record, but we are definitely not even close to being done with this foyer room refresh. So I'm kind of just getting a vision for what I want this room to look like. And I'll show you here in just a bit what I end up deciding to do in here after I get everything in place and restyled. I decided to just go for something that I have been putting off for a long time. So stay tuned for that because it's pretty exciting. Oh, stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo. Give up everything that I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found. You're the road. I had a lot of fun playing with the decor in this room and one thing I knew for sure is that we needed a mirror to reflect some light because this room gets so dark. I do like the addition of the green and blue in the foyer, but it still needs more. So my mom was over, we decided to run into town because I had an idea of what I wanted to do in here and she thought it also sounded like a great idea. So let's head to town. We're gonna stop at Goodwill, show you what we found there, and then we'll proceed to Home Depot and then I'll finally reveal what I'm doing in here. These are all this. There's like an enormous set. They have oh, everything. These. Bowls. They have the cups. Is Over there here. any room in the car? No. Okay, so I've told you about the dinner plates. I need those for sure. And I found some hearth and hand lumbar pillows. Mm -hmm.
neutrals. Oh, it's going to be hard to choose. Okay, so I'm gonna let you know what I have planned for the foyer. I'm actually going to be stenciling a damask pattern all over the walls, and I want a very muted, soft, almost a blue-green kind of a color. Just, just enough color to show up on the white walls, but I don't want it to be bold and too striking, so that's what we're looking for. Oh, grab the, um bit of sugar because that's what colors on the walls right now oh bit of sugar yeah it should be up here white here somewhere white white go oh, there smoky white actually. oh right here it is okay so this is what color is on the walls right now oh oh see that one's not bad you could almost go even a a, a whisper of whiter with the blue oh see now this has got this looks blue to me i just don't want it to look gray What's that purple? Yes, this one's called ice sculpture. Oh, this is kind of pretty. Okay, we're back home now and we have our three samples to try. I am painting them on some poster boards that we can rest them up against the wall and see which one we like the best out of the three. So the first one here that I'm using, this is called Wind's Breath and it's by Bear. It's in an eggshell enamel and this color is really pretty. It's definitely a chameleon color. It has a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, but it's also kind of a grayish. And then the next one is a warmer, creamier color, and this is called Swiss Coffee. It is a beautiful, warm, creamy white. And then the last color here, I believe it's called Tinsmith. It's much more cool toned, um, still kind of a grayish, but definitely more blue undertones. Yeah, because it's so... So different. It's just such a neutral color. Boy, it really looks green though up there. Does it? Yeah, I think it does. Mm -hmm. But it looks good with like the blues. Yes, it's gorgeous. Or the greens. It's really but look, it looks more green when it's next to the screen, mm -hmm. and it looks more blue. Yes, it does. The lower, the lower you took it. So it almost like it's is a chameleon the, color. Yeah, it's going to reflect color in so many different ways. So that's kind of good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That way it won't clash, you know, right. it'll just kind of... Mm. Mm. That one's definitely more blue. That's it? pretty too. Huh? I mean, I like them both. They both have the softest look to them. Such a pretty color. Gosh, was I don't know. That's gonna... We narrowed it down to our two favorites, which was the Tins Smith and the Wind's Breath. And which one do you think we're going to go with? It's probably hard to tell on the camera what it actually looks like, but I did end up going with the Wind's Breath. I just think having something that can kind of play on both tones and not clash um, is going to be the best option. So let's put up our first stencil patch here on the wall. My first time using this. Let's see how I do and how it goes. Stencil on a wall before I was very nervous 
of there being a lot of bleeding or that I was missing spots so I made sure to go over it really well but it looked beautiful when I pulled it away it's probably hard to see because the paint took a little while to dry and then the color really became more saturated but I don't want to show you everything in this video today I want to do um, like a part two and show you the big reveal and do some before and after clips and then how I have the room styled so make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the big foyer reveal with the amazing damask stencil that took me seven days to complete all right we are on day two of stenciling this foyer I had to kind of stop what I was doing and go get more paint. I ran out since I just used a sample prior. <laughs> Let's go get the rest of this foyer done. Hopefully, um, I'm sure I will not get it done today because it's already like two o'clock in the afternoon and it does take a little longer than what I had originally thought stenciling would take. Well, with all that being said and a little bit of a teaser, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you will tune back in for the second part of where we finish this room up and then do a great big reveal. I'm sure there will probably be extra footage in there, maybe of some spring decor or something fun like that because I still have yet to decorate my house for spring because... This project here has taken up a lot of my time unexpectedly. I always assume things are going to go quicker than they actually do, but I'm sitting here recording this and it is done and I can't wait to start decorating it tomorrow. So thanks again for being here and if you're not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also hit that like button. I really appreciate that. Show me some love, some YouTube love here. And then go follow me over on Instagram at Old Maple Home. All right, see you in the next one. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Matthew 21, 7-9